Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am going to be looking at Galaxy Truckers. Now, Galaxy Truckers is an adaptation of a classic board game. I say classic, it's like you know, from 2007. And uh, it's available for tablets and, of course, phablets like uh, this iPhone. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, like five bucks, I think, from the store. And if you click around the cockpit here, it tells you, did you know that this game is based on a game by Czech designer Lara Chivatil, uh, a person who I've just you now butchered his name, but his name will live on forever because he made the awesome fun that is Galaxy Trucker. Now, if you've ever played Galaxy Tr Trucker, the board game, you'll know that it is a lot of fun. In particular, the shipbuilding phase, which in EVE Online, your shipbuilding is all about spreadsheets and stuff. But in this game, it's a mad dash to pull all the components out of a giant pile of cards and make sure you get the best ones. Yeah, here's my cockpit here, swiping around. It's uh, Let's uh, start the campaign mode and we'll go and see where we are. Now, board game doesn't have the campaign mode. Uh, this is something that's added for the, the mobile version. So yeah, we've got the galaxy and I've explored a couple of planets on it. Let's talk here. This is the planet Silence. Home planet of the brown aliens, they call it. Which means eternal silence of the infinite ocean of stars. Yes, uh, we could talk to the businessmen or talk to the natives. I kind of like the idea of the natives. You can get the brown guys on their ship and they will make your engines go faster. You can also have purple aliens on their, your spaceship and they make your weapons more powerful. You see, working with the natives makes your spacecraft better. But I'm going to say, hello! I don't understand. Why don't you talk? Oh, wow, you're really mad. Apparently, I've really annoyed them. Well, so much for being James T. Kirk, although I guess that could be a male for all I know. Uh, let's actually just start a mission, right? So I'm going to take this route, and now we're going to go into the ship building. You see down the bottom, we have these places to put these cards. So, uh, yeah, I can start by layering these spaceship components out. That is a crew cabin. Now, these spacecraft are supposed to be built out of sewer pipes. Sewer pipes. Okay, i got to make sure I don't accidentally lock myself off the bottom here. Uh, no, I don't want that. This one might work. There we go. Okay, so I have to be very careful you don't accidentally lock out parts of the ship. And I keep, I've done this like a couple of times already. Yeah, let, there's some cargo space. Um, what I need to look for is some ways to make these things go down. Uh, 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 nope, nope, nope. So yeah, you can imagine how much fun this can be when you have multiple players trying to grab all the pieces, all the good bits. Uh, I could do that. There, let's put the highly dangerous um, thing at the bottom. I'm going to stick this here. It's kind of useful to know. I think that might be actually useful to me. I need to get at least a couple of engines on here, and I'm kind of limited. Also, I need to get... There we go. Um, that's not going to work. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, no, don't want to put... The, if you Once you drop a piece on there, it is stuck on your ship. So you have to be absolutely sure this is what you want. You can save a couple of pieces to the side, but uh, otherwise you pretty much have to accept... You know, you, you shouldn't put things on that you don't aren't absolutely sure that you want. Okay, so I've got that there, got an engine there, we've welded that in there. Now I can start working on the rest of the spaceship. Uh, we've got a lot of things. You know what I need is some, some of these. These are batteries and they will power my systems through uh, all sorts of, you know, problems. They, they basically provide emergency power, which are needed for certain weapon systems and things like that. I don't know. I could also have a shield on board, but that's not going to fit in there. The weapon system. I'm trying to find something that will stick out the front here and provide me a suitable weapon. <laughs> weapon, weapon, weapon. Oh, there. That'll do. That's a good thing to have. Um... Okay, yes, I wish I could discard these, but you can't. They're stuck in here. I thought they would be good things to keep, but I have now squandered my advantage. And one of the important things is to make sure that you don't have 
uh, pipes exposed out the side of your spacecraft because uh, exposed pipes are weak spots which make you vulnerable. Okay, so now I'm really starting to run out. That's another crew cap cabin there. Uh, do we have any weapon systems that I can make point forwards? Uh, no, weapon systems are pink. That's why the pink aliens work on them. Uh, oh, there, that's... Oh, no, 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 if I do that I will be unable to get in there and I will therefore have a chunk of my ship which is underutilized. So I might actually... Oh, I haven't found any shield units, have I? Uh, that might work, but if I do that... Ah, time's running out, time's running out. This other guy is grabbing all the parts. Now, obviously I'm playing against an AI right now, but... The game does support... Uh, oh, great! Yeah, see, he's beat me to the punch now. Final countdown. I now have 90 seconds to finish off my spacecraft. And so you can't have pipes that aren't connected properly internally. Uh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. There's some more batteries there, and I just need a weapon on the front. Something on the front that won't leave me too vulnerable. I need... I just want... Oh, come on. Something that's a dead end, something that doesn't have anything exposed. Uh, that's not going to work. And I'm really in trouble here. I could do that, but it would be pointing the wrong way. That's a nice one. How the sand timer is running. Timer is running! And I'm really out of, of options here. Um, I guess I could do that. I'm going to put this weapon system on there. Okay, go! I'm going to be in third place. Continue. Now, because it's a board game, the actual flight through space is based upon a deck of cards. So what I do, of course, is I select the first card off the deck. Now, the person who finished first, they get to pick the first planet. And they've picked a... Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to pick that at all. Nope, 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 because I don't think I have any red... Oh, I do! Crap! I did have a red one. Okay, well, I didn't go to the planet... Because I didn't go to the planet, I moved on ahead. The other two guys uh, dropped back, and I got a bit of uh, a bit, get a bit of an advantage on them. Now the next card is an abandoned ship, and the first person in the fleet has the option to, or the first person has the option to pick out. And I am actually going to do this. So I'm going to send two of my guys over to the abandoned ship, and I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to make three space bucks, which will give me a slight advantage in terms of uh, what I make on this run. The next card in this voyage is the Smugglers. Now, the Smugglers have weapons power of three, and if, the, if you can't repel that, they will uh, they will steal your stuff. But I guess the Smugglers were defeated by the individual in front of me, and uh, she acquired all the cash from them. She acquired all the cargo. So, uh, so much for that. Well, there's another abandoned ship. Um, I guess I could spare another couple of crew. Sure. Why don't you go for it? It's more money after all. Okay, off you go. I'm gonna fly that thing home and hopefully we're gonna survive. Okay, so the next feature is the Meteor Swarm. Now the Meteor Swarm basically throws big asteroids head on and that's what the guns are for. And uh, it'll also sh throw little asteroids from the left and the right and the rear. And if those hit a piece of your hull which has exposed connectors then you will take damage. Thankfully I managed to avoid that. Okay so they're now gonna go and grab some stuff and I'm left with the crappy three blue ones. So the blue cargo is the cheapest, it's the least valuable. However, uh, you know, it's better than nothing I guess. I could have again decided to just I'm going to do that. I could have decided to ignore the cargo in the hope that uh, speed would help. But in this case, it's not to be... Oh, I found some Stardust. Now, Stardust uh, slows you down if you have exposed connectors. So I guess I made up a little bit of time there simply by having a well-built ship. But I also I lost a little. Okay! No! Slavers! I was defeated by the slavers and I have to choose three crew members. I only have three crew members. I'm down to one crew member here, but that's good. As long as I've got that one crew member, I will successfully complete this mission. Okay, and dock at the embassy station. So, that was a successful run. 
What happened? How does it work out at the end? Oh, and I am a distant third place. Uh, yeah, I really screwed up, I think, by not taking that cargo earlier. Well, uh, never mind. So I can actually view the ships that the other players had. And you can see it was very impressive. They had guns. Yeah, some of them had guns pointing out the side as well. I thought I was terrible, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Let's, uh, let's continue. Let's move on. So, uh... Right now, they haven't developed any of the content from the expansions, but uh, there are other things in here which aren't in any of the board game expansions. Okay, at the border between human and alien settlement, home of diplomats and business people. A waypoint with it for travelers, wanderers. <laughs> it's Babylon 5, right? I could visit the embassy. Oh, thank you for being at service, it helped a lot. Yeah, take a reward of 10 credits, it's from our Unexpected Expenses Paid Fund to an Unknown Strangers Fund. Great, I received 10 credits! I think that's because I actually transported a purple alien over to the purple homeworld. Let's uh, try going this way. So, there are different ship designs that you unlock over time. Uh oh, security protocol 3421, this route is closed! Oh, that's dull. Okay, so yeah, um, I actually ran out of recording space on both my Mac and on my camera. <laughs> so yeah, um, you get how the game works. It is based upon the board game. The board game is very expensive. It's like uh, 70 bucks the expansion or all. That's what you pay for. You know, you get little plastic pieces and cards and stuff like that. A great thing to play with friends, but if you have iOS devices and you like little spaceship games on your uh, tablets or your phone, the Galaxy Trucker is uh, worth a look. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.